My dearest love, it has been quite some time since my last letter. I apologize for this, for my time here at the Academy has me quite occupied. My dearest love, I write this letter today to you to know if you are still throwing it back like a certified freak. My dearest love, my time at the Academy has grown a sense of longing in me for many things, greatest of which is that ass. I quite miss that freak freak you do ever so well. Your dip down on the down low makes any sense of guap guap from any other fucker seem weak in comparison. It's times like these when I reminisce on when I first laid eyes on you. I saw you across the way and thought to myself, dear God, look at that woman. What can one do with so much cheek? Please, dear Lord, Break off a piece of that sploosh, just for me. My dearest love, I do wonder how you are faring though, for it has been quite some time since you last had a serving of this meat. How is your father's farm? I know you long to roam free in the world and let others bask in that double-double cheek roundup of yours. My dearest love, the time cannot come soon enough where I meet the embrace of that pound cake once more. Stay strong in your endeavors, and oh, for the love of the Lord, never, and I repeat never, let that ass game die, even if your spirit does. Love, Prince Manchester Reginald Richard Thoreau III. All right, now it's time to write a letter to my wife. <clears throat> Dearest wife, how are you? End of letter. <laughs>